I'm not implying you're weak. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, that's a real question. Who's winning? Is this for time? Yeah. Hey. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's quickly as possible. <laughs> not used to this shit, guys! You guys have to tell me. Hey, Rob, you can look right at me if you'd like. Now I just got nervous, I started sweating. When you're training, what's like the biggest set of deadlifts? It depends on the contest, right? So with worlds, we have both a deadlift ladder working up to 880, and we're also going to have a deadlift for reps at like 750. Uh, so typically, eight. Eight what? Reps. This is the biggest I will do. Well, but that's also going to be like 700 pounds. What are we about to do, Rob? A lot of deadlifts that I don't normally do. But luckily I'm working off of Jake's weights. But I just deadlifted yesterday, so. I'm not implying you're weak. Oh no, no, I mean this is less than 50% <laughs> right, so of what you Rob deadlifted 805 for four reps yesterday. Four These reps yesterday like on the 20 second. Rob clearly has an astronomically high deadlift number. And so we're just, it's kind of like a fun experiment of let's see. So Jake, you have a 515 deadlift. Rob has a best ever was 970. 970. So close to double. <laughs> but I watched him do 805 for four reps yesterday. And like, it was cardio. So now let's see how he does with how way, way lower percentage for him. But it's something that's completely out of his element. How many total reps is this? A lot more than I normally do, All right. including warm-ups. <laughs> All right, kids, ready to go? Yeah, why not? Clean lock out that top. Even on your last set, make sure you extend it and then let go. All right. Rob doesn't have any clips on. Goes first, couple bars look so easy. 
It felt easy. I love it. That that first bar for Rob was probably about 38%. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I would have gone any faster had I not deadlifted yesterday. So <laughs> I actually like doing touch and go, like time under tension wise. Yeah. I feel like it's a lot more effective. I always get way more fried than doing dead stop reps. Really? Yeah. See, I, I feel like for most CrossFitters, it's the exact opposite. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because I think, I think a lot of people get such a big bounce. True. Especially if they're deadlifting on platform. Because now every deadlift is starting here yeah. instead of here. Well, I guess, yeah, it's touch and go versus bounce. Bounce, yeah. You know? Yeah, it's like I, I try to encourage so many people. I'm like, just do dead stops. Yeah. Because um, there's great transferability, obviously. Yeah. Now your form looked great. I don't want to deadlift workout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool with it.